My mom loves Abba. <laughs> but I'm not here today to speak to you about Abba or my mom. I'm here to speak to you about our startup called Prosper, a mobile savings wallet for earners like Candy, allowing them to build big savings from their small change. Now, Tandy wasn't only one of our first customers. She's also one of 12 million South Africans working an unskilled job. And what that means for her is that her income is both low, averaging about 4,000 rand a month, but it's also unpredictable and infrequent. That makes a lot of services that we use inaccessible for her. And what we've also found is that even when they do use banking services, they pull all their money out as soon as they get it. When we asked Tandy why, she said she's avoiding the Mooty magic. What she really meant was she's avoiding fees. Unfortunately for Tandy, with the small amounts of money she has left after her spending, she can't justify the time or the effort to get to an ATM to deposit the money and save. Now, many people say that people in the low-income earning community don't want to save money. But Tandy disagrees. She says that existing financial services have a lack of convenience, require high minimum deposits, but also charge high monthly fees. She says she's confused as to why providers have not brought the service that both matches her lifestyle, but also the nature of her income. Based on this, we founded Prosper. Best explained by way of example, imagine Tandy arriving in the township from a taxi after a day's work and going to a local tuck shop. She purchases groceries for that evening, but with a change buys one of our Prosper savings vouchers. Using the voucher, she takes the 16-digit voucher code and loads it through a mobile phone. She's used to this behavior because it's exactly how she buys and loads prepaid airtime, but she can now take that same behavior and do it for savings. She continues to do so over time, growing her savings through her own contributions and our interest up until she's choosing to cash out in November, where she's going to purchase a gift for Christmas for her daughter. She said the best part is, this is money she would otherwise have lost to consumption. What she's now able to do is forfeit current consumption for future benefit. She says that our five rand vouchers which she purchased normally went towards a packet of knickknacks and two cigarettes for her husband. Now she can save. She says that in 2019, she plans to put away 50 rand a week arriving at almost 2,400 rand by November and able to take both her husband and her daughter back to Zim on a vacation for December. We're helping Tandy Prosper by allowing Prosper to work across all mobile phones, all mobile networks, allowing them to save from as little as five rand, but best of all, charging no monthly fees. This one's important, and I'll tell you why later. So instead of monthly fees, we make our revenue from upfront voucher fees, interest earnings, and penalty fees for early withdrawals. We penalize early withdrawals because people in the township struggle with self-discipline because there's much bigger culture of immediate consumption. I'm proud to say that with a partner like MTN, we're able to bring our product into the township without the need for airtime. And this is huge. <laughs> for people in the townships, airtime is considered a luxury. Many of them only buy data to use on messaging services such as WhatsApp. Keeping that in mind, we've met our customers on their messaging platforms as well. We currently work through USSD for feature phones on a mobile website as well as through WhatsApp. With a partner in Unilever, we're looking at a digital solution for the grocery stockpile market. This is a market of more than 200,000 stockpiles across the country with members of almost over 2 million people. But they'll tell you a bit more about that after this. We've also now partnered with Rand Merchant Holdings who provided us some funding 
based on our traction thus far. Now, when we first started Prosper, many people told us, people in the townships are not going to trust you. Many of them have been burnt by other scams and even some more established financial services such as GB Mutual Bank that many of you will be familiar with. So many people said, don't get your hopes up. No one's going to put money with you. I'm proud to say that we only had two spaza shops or tuck shops in 40 days on the ground. And in that period, we've now sold almost 800 vouchers and have more than 150 paying customers. <laughs> but it wasn't that simple at the start. There was some truth to what people were saying. And what we found is that there was some initial hesitance in trusting Prosper as a service. Handing over your money to somebody and concerned about whether or not you'd get it back is a big problem for people in the township who work hard for their money. Looking at the charts above, the black line illustrates the value of vouchers we sold on a weekly basis, and the green bars show the value of our asset base. And what it shows is that after some initial hesitancy, word spread in the township, and people started trusting us as a viable savings option. Now at the moment, we're only in two spaza shops, but using existing distribution services, we'll be able to get our vouchers into 160,000 spaza shops across South Africa. <laughs> With that in mind, we believe there's a market for just savings of some 103 million rand. But while working on Prosper and looking at some of the behavior of our customers, we started identifying certain patterns. One common one are those people who purchase a voucher a day. And what we saw is that they started to buy a five rand voucher a day. And when we brought the 10 rand voucher out, some people were saying, no, 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 I'm not a five rand man, I'm a 10 rand man. And they've moved up. In a, our second location, we put the 20 rand and a five rand. And we saw the same thing. Some people saying, no, 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 I'm a 20 rand man. In our third location, we might just put a thousand rand and see what people do. <laughs> Another common pattern of behavior that I want to describe to you to understand more about the nature of our target market's income are those people who are purchasing many vouchers on individual days. If you look at the bars in the green, that shows the number of vouchers purchased by individual savers. The column in the gray looks at the number of days on which they actually purchase those vouchers. If we take the saver on your left as an example, they purchased 50 vouchers, but only did so on three days. This illustrates why they can't pay for services on a monthly basis if they are not using them. Given that we cost people and charge people on a paper use model, this is much more suitable to the nature of their income. Based on this, we're now looking at Prosper as a platform. Building up a history and an understanding of our customers, we'll be able to provide microcredit, but are also now speaking to Old Mutual about providing microinsurance to our customers. Speaking to our customers, we've identified certain use cases, and one of those is saving up for groceries and spending that money for your big December shop. With that in mind, we're speaking to retailers about rewarding our savers, incentivizing good behavior, but also starting to look at the revenue option of advertising deals from retailers directly to our consumers. All of this so far has been made possible by a strong team. I myself, Danielle Davidson, I'm a CA with more than six years of experience in financial services. Chris Roberto helps us with marketing and communications and has experience as a product owner within the low income earning market. And Carl Nguenya has more than six years experience as a senior software engineer, works as our CTO, but often confuses me with technical terms. Aside from our core team, we've got support from some incredible people. They've led organizations like Zona, Tigo Cash in DRC, 
and also orange money in Uganda. Going forward, we're part of AlphaCode, the most prestigious financial technology program on the African continent. We have a few experiments we're now done to validate some other assumptions and at the same time looking to finalize our partnership with Old Mutual. We're also raising money, but not in the traditional sense. Many of you might not know, but existing financial service providers have to spend a certain amount of money on financial education. What we plan to do is to do activations in townships using this, some of this financial education spend and teaching people on budgeting, saving, and how prosper can help them do that. We're also speaking to Red Bull Amapiko, who will be going into the townships with us to build a buzz and to get people coming to us. It's still early days, but we believe what we've done so far will help us with success in the future. Cape Town, I invite you all to join us in building an Africa where anyone can prosper. Thank you.